Absolutely. And, and you talk about stress. One of the biggest issues I think that we can help put people's minds at ease for is trying to get some of those important legal documents in order. Let's focus specifically on health care for your parents. There are documents you'll want to look for. They're called advanced directives. They cover a whole host of things, but I want to talk about a few in particular. One is health care power of attorney. This is a document that lets you be the advocate for your parents and make decisions about their medical treatment. It's something you're really want to, going to want to get in order um, as they're getting older, just so you have that kind of power and can make those decisions. The other one is a living will. Now, this serves as a guide in case your parent has a terminal illness. It helps you decide whether they're going to get that life-prolonging treatment, like ventilators, feeding tubes, even CPR. Folks, these things are so important to make the process easier in working with your parents. Um, also, I want to always say this when we talk about these kinds of issues, always hire an elder care attorney. Let me tell you, as a lawyer, this is a specialized field of law. So you want to make sure you get a specialized lawyer to handle some of those issues. And, you know, Ryan, this, you've never spoken truer words because of a real change going on. The states are under so much financial stress that when your elderly parents end up needing a lot of medical care, the states now are starting to go after you for the medical care that the state provided for them after your parents pass away. It's called filial responsibility laws. And you... All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the state might send you a bill for your parents' care. There are 30 states now, you see them in blue, that have filial responsibility laws. And when the law is enforced, hospitals, doctors, nursing homes, the state itself can come after you to pay for your parents' long-term care, especially if their insurance coverage has run out. Now, when your parents are in a position that they need more care than you can provide or you think you're hitting that point, I want you to look at hiring an elder care social worker, which is known as a geriatric social worker. Plan ahead years in advance for long-term care. Look at buying long-term care insurance. You want to make your plans while your parents are healthy so you don't end up in a situation where suddenly the state's knocking on your door and wanting money out of your wallet. You're already grieving enough over the loss of a parent. You don't want their bills, too.